Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Ray. So in today's story I would like to bring to your attention what has been happening in West Papua. So the island of New Guinea is divided by a line and on one side is Independence New Guinea which is a country by itself and then on the western side is Papua and West Papua. So these two are collectively known as West Papua and they are under the governance of the, or the rule of the Indonesian government. And these two are also inhabited by black people or richly melanated people. So on 2nd August 1969, there was an event called the Act of Free Choice, where a referendum was held and the Indonesian military coerced or forced 1,025 men and women to vote in favor of the Indonesian government to rule West Papua. And these women were also selected by the military themselves and this referendum was backed by the UN and since then West Papua has been politically controlled by the Indonesian government until today. In 2001, the Indonesian government implemented what is called a special autonomy law in Western Papua and this law was meant to give some bits of political autonomy to the Western Papuans but also allow them to receive a lot of revenue, a larger share of revenue for that comes from the mineral resources within their region. So this law is meant to expire this year but the people of West Papua do not want this law to be renewed. Instead they want to break away from Indonesia and have their own independence. So the university students are recently were protesting against the renewal of this special autonomy law and the police, the Indonesian police counteracted this by shooting them. Uh, they shot at least one student and also arrested 13 of them and this has been happening over the time there have been very many protests you know by the West Papuans against the brutality of the Indonesian military. West Papua is also very very rich in mineral wealth the largest gold mine in the world, known as Papua Grassberg, is in this area. It is also the second largest copper mine or copper deposits are also found still in this particular area in West Papua. So we see why the Indonesia government is very reluctant you know, to leave this region and give these people their independence. In addition to that, it happens that the West Papua regions are also underdeveloped. There is high rates of poverty and high rates of malnutrition. But the West Papuans say we are very tired of the Indonesian government. It has been promising us independence for the last 50 years. But when we talk about it, we are only met with police shootings and killings. The leader of the people of West Papua under the United Liberation Movement of West Papua, known as Benny Wenda, has accused the Indonesian government of using or imposing martial law in this region. He says you cannot go through West Papua without meeting a military checkpoint or without being stopped by the police and questioned you know what are you doing here and all that so he goes on ahead to say that Indonesia government is terrified of their black resistance and their fight against racism and also their fight towards independence because any democratic country you know wouldn't impose military like that on civilians who are protesting you know peacefully on university students who are protesting peacefully why would it feel the need you know to shoot them you know directly at them so these are the struggles of the people of West Papua and this has been going on for years and years and years the people of West Papua are still under bondage to this day and this leader calls upon the world and says you know what in West Papua we have two pandemics going on there is a COVID-19 pandemic but we also have a racism pandemic and the world should say something because it seems everyone is quiet and everyone has ignored the suffering of the people of West Papua and of course there is a lot of human rights violation by the Indonesian military and the Indonesian police being brutal to the people of West Papua over the years over the years because they have been fighting till to this day they do not have their independence there as as a nation you know they want to break away free but they are still fighting and the Indonesian government only suppresses them and kills them and just resorts to military you know and police brutality uh, share your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about what is happening in West Papua? What the Indonesian government has continued to do to the people of West Papua? Uh, check out my YouTube channel, Ray Kembawazi, my Twitter and Instagram also at Ray Kembawazi, and see you on the next story. Bye.